What's up guys, it's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reviewing Tati's Blendiful. Yes, this is the package I got it in, but I have been hearing so many amazing things about the Blendifuls. So yeah, if you guys wanna see me test this out, then just keep watching. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's like super glued. It's really nice bubble wrap packaging. It's really hard to get open. We've got the beautiful Blendiful. Oh my goodness, so cute. <gasps> I can feel the blendifuls. You get one blendiful and one baby blendiful. I love how they call it the baby blendiful. Ah, so satisfying to open things sometimes. Oh my gosh, that is so much softer. Oh, it almost feels like a really, really, really soft bath mat. Even the material looks like a foam bath mat. They feel so soft, like you could just put it to your face. I love how it comes with this, even though I doubt many people are gonna use it like that, but you can literally, I bet I can just roll it. Yep, I could literally roll it like that. This one feels softer than this one. This one is a little little tougher, which honestly I thought this was gonna be how both of them felt, but this one literally feels like one of those like cotton filled pillows or something, like a comforter. So I have makeup on. I put this makeup on around like six in the morning and it is currently like three o'clock. So have not touched up all day and I'm gonna try this out because Tati says you can use this as a touch up throughout the day. So right now, I, as you can see, I have super, super oily skin. Even like my eyeshadow is like, now I have super crazy oily skin. It is winter time, so it's not the most oily it's ever been, but yeah, it's just oily all over. So I'm just gonna do half of my face and see what happens. I don't know what she really means by touch up, like an oil absorber, cause that's kind of what it's doing. I do think it is absorbing oil, like whoa. Okay, so this is like oil central. This is like more like, ooh, a nice fresh dew. That's nice. It's a lot nicer because you know, sometimes like you bring compact powders and you bring those blotting sheets, but this like, it seems like you can just reuse it over and over at least for the day and then like wash it later. I'm actually really impressed. Like I was having a little chin line right there and it blended it out. It didn't even take any makeup off. Like there's no makeup on there which is really nice because sometimes, you know, those um, oil absorbing sheets, they can take off makeup. Like I've seen my makeup on them. Wow, okay, Tati. Okay, I can see why people are like hyping. I didn't think I'd like this. I didn't really like understand the point to this, but this is, would be so easy to like put in a little Ziploc baggie and put it in your purse. And like, you have like a really nice, you know, blotter throughout the day. Okay, now I'm excited. Let's move on to this. So I'm gonna go wash my makeup off and then we are going to get started. Okay, I'm back with a freshly washed face. This feels so so I could literally sleep on this. <laughs> so I'm deciding to use just like my everyday products like products I know like the back of my hand just because I really want to see like what a difference it makes using this compared to say my favorite Juno sponge. First I'm going to start off with foundation. I don't really use a primer. I know she says to like use a primer, but I never use a primer on a daily basis and there's none that I'm like really obsessed with right now. So we're just going to go straight in with the foundation and I'm using the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation in the shade LN3. So let's dab, 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 make it look fab. Smiley face. My initial thing is to pat it. So I'm just going to do that. Now we start here. I feel like I need a little more foundation actually. That literally looks like my skin, but better. Like a filter kind of got put on my skin. Let's just try layering foundation. Cause I, I don't know, I feel like when I layer foundation, it looks a little cakey. So I'm curious how this is gonna work. It's literally just gliding over my pores. I'm gonna put a little more foundation on this side cause I needed more on this side. It's literally just, you pat it and it's like blended in. I will say it's really quick like really quick to use. I thought I was gonna like be taking a while to blend it in, but it just like glides on. So some people like using a like wiping motion. Eh, I don't like that. I like the padding motion a lot better. I will say there's like barely any foundation that's like in here, like it on the blendiful. Oh my gosh, I've been stressing out this week. So hello, lovely hormonal acne. Now this foundation that I use goes over smoothly anyway. Like it's pretty rare or I put it on and like it looks like bad, but this just takes it just that little extra step. I really like building the foundation with this too. Now I will say I, I felt like I had to put another layer of foundation on. Normally that's not really the case for me. Like one layer is pretty good. So I do feel like at least with this foundation, it just applies it a little more thin. I still have some peeking through, even though I already put two layers of foundation on. So next, I'm going to put on concealer. 
Let's see where this takes me. This is really bendy, which is nice for like literally getting in the corner. It's always so hard to get in the corner with like sponges and just anything really. Okay, see the concealer works better with the wiping motion. Whereas the foundation, I really like to pat it. Huh, maybe it's like if you use thicker products, it's better with the wiping motion. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the face with these two powders. Let's start with just putting it all over the face. Now this is the part I'm actually really, really curious about. I love applying powders with my Juno sponge. I'm gonna see how I like doing it with this because I normally don't like it with like compacts of lime powder, but people were saying it was just Shush up. That is blurring my skin. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like so excited. Wait. I mean, this powder does a good job anyway, but like this is like just another level. It's, it's just another level. It's the only way I can explain it. And just so you guys know, I have a really textured skin and my pores are huge. Okay, now we're gonna set the eye area. Now I will say it gets on the edge right here and that kind of messes me up a little bit. So I need to like angle it down more, I guess. But now I'm gonna go into blush and contour because I heard you can do it. I'm really not the greatest with contour. So we're gonna, we're just gonna start with that. So I'm just gonna take my hourglass bronzer right up here. Really get it on there and I'm like so scared. Oh wait, this is like really controlled. I genuinely didn't think I was gonna be able to control it this well. That is really, really, really nice. It literally works kind of like a brush, except you're just like stippling it. Now I'm gonna do blush. Let's do blush, cause I love blush. So I'm really curious how this works with blush. <gasps> wow, that blends it so nicely. You know what? I find interesting with this. You know how sometimes you just kind of go crazy and then, you know, you have to like tap it off? This, you literally put it on your face and like it blends it for you. Like you don't have to worry about it all going on one spot because it only applies like a little bit. That's like really, 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 really nice. It is building up as well. I was kind of scared it wouldn't like build up as nicely. I'm actually really, really impressed by this and all Tati says to do is just like wash it with some soap and water and you're good to go. Now I'm someone who likes to clean my sponges every single day because I do notice the difference on my skin when I don't. I feel like my skin gets a little more clogged than normal if I don't wash it every day. So I do think like if I try and incorporate it in my routine to wash this right after I use it, I think it's gonna be dry by the next morning. Okay, well, I'm gonna go finish putting on the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back to kind of give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I put the rest of my makeup on. Let's get my final thoughts. So first of all, this little guy, love this. I feel like it's such a good idea to have this like in your purse to do like really quick touch-ups throughout the day. I did notice a big difference when I use this. I think I actually prefer this a little bit over like the typical oil blotting sheets that you would get at the drugstores. Now when it comes to the bigger Blendiful, I feel like my makeup went on a lot quicker with this because of just how big it is and I was able to like really pat it out really, really quickly. It feels super, super soft to the touch. Like it felt really good applying makeup, not gonna lie. Overall, I will say my complexion does look more airbrushed. I love how it applied the blush. I love how it applied the bronzer. The Blendiful really helps powders get to their full potential. I think powders went over beautifully. As for the foundation application, I feel like I probably could have spent a little more time blending it out because I'm noticing a little splotchiness here and there. I do feel like for some reason that this just put a thinner layer on that I'm used to. Now the sponge I always use is the Juno sponge and I feel like I'm able to get slightly better coverage with the Juno sponge, but I really do feel like this applies the foundation and gives it a very airbrush look, kind of like it's just a layer on the skin, but like a good layer on the skin, not like a bad layer. <laughs> So I feel like also with like looser foundations, it's really good to just stipple it on. But if you're using thicker products like the concealer, I really like the like wiping technique. I feel like that worked really, really well. I do feel like when I was applying blushes and bronzers, it didn't pick up any of the foundation on the skin, which is always really nice. Now comes the question, would I repurchase the Blendiful and the Baby Blendiful? It is $18 on Tati's website. I believe I ended up paying 20 something dollars because of shipping and handling. But I do think these are worth it. That comes to like $9 each. I really I really feel like I'm gonna utilize this more than I think I will because sometimes, you know, you come home after work and your face is a little disheveled. 
this would be really, really good for helping me like reapply powders and stuff. I'm really excited to use this. This is worth it. This, I feel like I'm gonna have to get used to a little more. I feel like I definitely would wanna play with other foundations with this product in particular to just kind of get a feel for it. So overall, is this worth it? I'd say so. For the $18 I spent, pretty solid deal. Plus it was just a really fun new tool. I feel like it's a great addition to your collection and I, I feel like I'm going to use this a lot but maybe I'll end up using this more. Who knows? I think they're great. All right you guys so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a big thumbs up. It really really does help support my channel. And question of the day, have you tried anything from Tati Beauty? Have you tried any of the Blendifuls or have you tried the eyeshadow palette? I know that's definitely on my like wish list. Maybe one of these days I'll treat myself with it, but yeah, let me know if you've ever tried anything from Tati Beauty out. Also, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blendiful rest of your day <laughs> and I will see you next time.